Hello, welcome. My name is Maria. It seems to me that every art YouTuber out there has an artist card. <laughs> Actually, every creator out there. And someone who's trying to reconnect with my art, I thought that would be the best thing to do for my first video. So let's try to organize one. At the moment, my paintings are currently here. They used to be over on that side, but as you can see, it's all a mess and it really wasn't that functional. So right now I'm just trying to organize things for it to be more cohesive and that I paint more often. know how i feel about these and i'm not sure if i'm gonna be using i knew that i wanted the rack because i thought this part would be really handy but um i might want it for something else i'm not really the kind to use washi tapes i do own a couple but um maybe for packaging and stuff depending on how things go so yeah i'm gonna keep those i definitely like having the availability of like the rack um and then it comes with these like vinyl holders too here as well which I thought they're really interesting. I think they're also going to be handy for like packaging and stuff. And it also has these, which I thought could also be handy for like maybe holding paints that I'm currently using. I don't know. I'll see what I do with it. I'm a little bit excited. <laughs> so now I'm just going to be taking out like the paints from the original spot. Uh, there's Cookie Boy. Uh, that's the oils box. And then there's the acrylics one. Right now, everything's a bit of a mess. Like, I don't really have an art studio, so everything is all over the place and not very functional. It's been hard to paint and be creative if, um, like, whenever you take out the, like, the materials, it's going to, it creates a clutter instead of just being part of the room. Some of these things that I've been trying to keep in mind as I try to like reconnect with me like doing art has been to remind myself to be gentle with myself um and i think that's always something to apply in every aspect of your life so we tend to be quite harsh on ourselves compared to how we would be to like a friend or a loved one so that's something to keep in mind always another tip has been trying to put myself out there uh, and fail basically on that note uh, my next video it's going to be the 100 heads challenge so we're gonna see how that goes the third tip that i would give would be to uh, focus on trying to create a space that encourages behaviors that you want so for example for me creating this artist card is hopefully going to help out or at least have things around your room that are going to be able to keep your brain flowing and keep it keep you doing those behaviors and those habits that you're trying to encourage yourself to do I know it's not easy sometimes and life can get really hectic and I think that's when where the first tip comes in handy is to remind yourself that you have to be gentle with yourself and to be forgiving and understand that it's okay and life happens, right? I actually messed up here so I realized that the acrylics were not going to fit so I had to do a quick run to Dollarama so we just teleported it to Dollarama here, it was quite quiet to be honest and I was just trying to pick a container that I was going to be able to use and these were my contenders I know that it's basically the same the ones on the left but yeah I ended up going with the uh, transparent ones here it is the artist card it is ready so it looks a little bit busy but it all actually makes sense so here I have some miscellaneous brushes I have my acrylics brushes on this little tin jar. Then I have my oil brushes here. Here I just have some pencils that I thought would be great for sketching. Some uh, sharpies, a ruler, 
I have some dry mediums here, some oil pastels and some graphite little like blocks that I got in that old box that I had. I have my like my student grade like second level uh, paints here. I thought that it would be good for like practice it. I can still get some use out of them. And then I have my gesso here and I have this lovely um water holder that i got at violet village i really love when a water holder has like where you put your water it has like all these like paint like marks left over after you paint with it on the second floor i went ahead and added all of the oil paints so here they are i was lucky enough that i was able to get a bunch of them when i used to work at michael's and here i have some mediums over at the back there's some mediums a little tin jar i just recently got it not gin tin actually it's a glass jar um but i just recently got it it has been so handy for um whenever you're uh chain like dissolving like <laughs> i forgot how to say it but uh, it has been really handy so i'm using gamsol so far which i really have been enjoying i'm call kit because i'm i'm just starting out to use the oils and i have these little glass containers to put the mediums in and the third floor this is where i have a bunch of like different miscellaneous things so it but it does make sense so i have this scrubber like this thing to to scrub the paint off my glass jars and then i have this little uh plastic containers to put uh paint when i'm still working with it and maybe i need some leftover here in this green box i actually put all my watercolors I have a wacom tablet here at the back and these are actually the first acrylic paints that i started with and i really enjoy them and i got <laughs> everything out of them they've been they've been roughed up this is a little jar that I was using for oils whenever I needed to like take off like um rinse the paint out of the oil brushes and it was not a good system because I was trying to sit, like get the pigment to sit at the bottom and then rinse it with at the top but I couldn't really scrub it against anything so this was just not working out I, I really struggled like trying to scrub the paint off through the like against the glass the wall of the glass and it was just not working at all so I ended up finding this little one over here at michael's and it's been really handy as you can see i've gotten some use out of it already and it's definitely a game changer so anything like that i don't know i think i heard that there's like a little metal thingy that people use no idea but this is what they saw at michael's i removed the tag already it was 6.99 i believe plus tax but you can use a coupon for 30 percent if you want and yeah so as you can see we are missing the acrylics because i ended up realizing that i had so many things that it just wasn't going to fit on the card so i thought of a better system that i saw on pinterest and i must show you i am totally in love with it i ended up hanging them against the wall and i just think that they're it's like a super handy system so the way that it works is that you press it and then voila paint and then to bring it back well i can't right now but yeah so it just goes back here and i could just grab whatever paints that i need and i'm good to go well thank you for staying until the end of the video i hope that you enjoy yourself and if you're like me and are also trying to reconnect with your creative self consider subscribing maybe we can help each other out i hope that this video brought you some comfort and maybe some advice and i'll see you in the next one bye